Both those stories ahead and more, so do stay with us. But first, after all its Oscar glory and box office success, the British film industry is on high alert for the next slumdog millionaire. Film critics are already using it as shorthand for a film's feel-good factor, and Movie World Insiders are already hinting that it's changed the way Britflix are viewed abroad. E24's Alex Stanger takes a look now at the slumdog effect. <laughs> Sounds Like Teen Spirit is a British documentary about the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. It might not be out till Friday, but several critics have already compared it to the eight-time Oscar winner Slumdog Millionaire. And it's inevitable while it's still in the papers and still fresh in everyone's mind and made such an impact at the Oscars that it is like a benchmark of what great British film can be. My brother, it is like doing a very big thing for Cyprus. Maybe cry. She's not putting any pressure on him there, is she? It's not just the family, it's the whole of Cyprus. <laughs> Jamie J. Johnson started work on the documentary two years ago here at his flat in East London. Like Slumdog, it screened for the first time at the Toronto Film Festival. Mamma Mia got this massive momentum as being the feel-good film of whatever, and then Slumdog hit that same sort of note, and then... You know, I think it's just lucky that we have a happy ending and all of our kids are lovely and people seem to really love them and love hanging out with them and it makes people happy when they leave the cinema. The UK Film Council helped both Jamie and Slumdog Stanley Boyle to get their vision on screen. UK media has always had its own relationship with British films and now it's starting to understand that we can do great stuff in terms of talent development and in export and um, across the world. The slumdog effect has meant that um, players in the marketplace are really looking at our talent with a really fresh eye. There will be three Brit-backed movies competing for the top prize at this month's Cannes Film Festival, including Ken Loach's Looking for Eric. Are you just a man? I'm not a man. I am Cantona. It was partly funded by Film 4, which also put some money into Slumdog Millionaire. People who may not have worked with us are looking at us and saying, OK, they can, they can do this, they can have this kind of success. However, it's a tougher world out there, and it means that every single film has to work on its own merit. Um, and so, um, you know, everything that we develop and everything we try and get into production has to work because the filmmakers are exciting and the story works. And so, in a way, it's as tough as it ever was. <laughs> Film 4 and the UK Film Council are just two movie backers having to make big budget cuts, which will have a knock-on effect on the British film industry. But with cinema going on the up during the recession, there's still some feel-good factor to be felt at the box office. Oh, yeah.